Today, I'm going to show you how to photograph one donut five different ways. Hello everyone, this is Amrita Bordeke and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm a physician, photographer and filmmaker. Today I wanted to do something fun and I have got these amazing donuts from one of my favorite donut places here in San Diego. I can't wait to shoot with it and show you five different ways of shooting the same donut. So let's get started. Image number one is a top down shot. Let's look at the donuts. Are you ready for it? Look at the size of this. <laughs> it is so big. <laughs> I also got this one. I think it's like Oreo. It has an Oreo inside and it looks so pretty. It's got these holiday sprinkles, so I thought it was really cute. So the first donut that I want to photograph, I want to use a plain background. This one, which is going to be a top-down one, I actually might use a white foam board because I feel it look beautiful. The pink will just pop on this. Let's move this out. So we're going to get the white foam board on the bottom and have the cookie on the top. And now I am going to either use my top-down setup or I might just use a ladder today because I don't want to set the whole thing up and take a shot top-down. You can also keep foam board on the floor to make it easier to shoot if you have a low enough window or if you have like a large door. But I think I like it where it is right now and I'm going to bring another foam board in on the other side to fill in some of the shadows. If you look at the shadows here, these are i feel too dark especially for the photo i want so i'm going to fill it a little bit on this side then take the shot i'll show you how i set it up i am using my nikon d810 with the macro lens macro 105 millimeter because i want to actually try to shoot this one with the macro for more details i will also switch out to the 50 millimeter sigma art series lens this is 1.4 i love this lens i shoot a lot of work with this but for now i am going to try the first shot with my macro lens. Setting wise, I'm going to keep it at a smaller aperture because I want a lot of detail in the shot. I probably am going to shoot it anywhere in between f11 to f14. So let's try it out. I love what I'm getting, but I need to fill in some of the shadows using a white foam board. Two clamps and a white foam board. Clamp it on both sides. And I'm gonna do a before and after so you can see the difference it makes. So I'm gonna put it on a tripod so I can actually get the shot that I need. I wanted to shoot this image at a smaller aperture so it can get more of the image in. But what that meant was the shutter speed would be a lot lower and it is harder to shoot handheld if the shutter speed is low. I'm losing that soft, beautiful light because the sun is going in and out of the clouds. And right now I can see really hard lines and shadows. And if that's the look you want to go for, this is perfect actually. But that's not what I'm trying to create today. So I am going to use my diffuser from my 5-in-1 reflector. If I can find a way to open it. <laughs> Keep it in between the sun and the donut. Sometimes, even if you are in the middle of a shoot and if you're using natural light, these are things you have to problem solve and... Whoops! <laughs> Look at the light now. Looks so great, right? It's like immediate. The change is so quick. I love it. Because I softened the light, the dark shadow that we were getting uh, is already softer. The light is just beautiful on how it's falling. What I wanted to do was decrease the shadow even more than what we see here. And that's why I'm going to place a white foam core board on the opposite side of the light where it would be filling in these shadows. 
Image number two is human element. And I always feel like it looks more appetizing if I see someone picking up a cookie or a donut or a cake and just ready to put it in their mouth. It makes us feel as if we are part of the scene. So I love using human elements in a particular shot. And I just want my hand to go into the frame to show as if I'm going to pick up the donut, not actually touching the donut. So that's the photo we're gonna take right now. I am using a white background. Both both of these are my painted backdrops. If you want to learn more, I will link the video in the description down below or and also link it up here on all the backdrops that I use. On the base, I'm using a black painted backdrop. I'm trying out something because I feel like I want to see if this gives it an elevation. So I am adding just like the small bowl at the back so I can see the donut well. Yeah, I love that. The third image is going to be a side angle and we're going to do a 45 degree angle and take this shot. The fourth shot that I'm going to create is going to be with a donut and a cup of tea or coffee because I feel like I always love a hot cup of tea with a nice delicious donut. So that's what we're going to do. There's a delicious cup of coffee and that's the next image. So for this image, I want to remove the parchment paper and just have this. I want to see if I can use one of these shot glasses to prop the donut up so it can look vertical. Let's see if we can do that. It just might stay. Let's see. The one thing I want to change is the Backdrop, I want a black backdrop here. The last image I want to take is going to be a holiday image and I don't want to use this donut. I mean, look how smudged it looks <laughs> with all my handling. So I'm going to use the other donut and I want to show you that in the fifth kind of shot, you can use any theme that you want and you can dress it up. Right now it's Christmas, we have the Christmas tree up, so I'm going to use that. But if it was Valentine's Day or if it is Mother's Day or Thanksgiving, you can dress it up according to the holiday and then shoot the image. So that's a, a really special way to inculcate a holiday into your images. So let's go, let's try the last one out.
You can use a gaffer tape to prop up any dish that you might have so that it can give you a really good angle. And this is how I'm going to do it. Small changes can make big differences. Thank you so much everyone for watching today. I hope this was helpful. I hope this gave you more ideas to use when you're out on a shoot. And let me know if you have any questions below. Have an amazing, amazing day. Bye-bye.